as of now vaccination would be enrolled for children 12 and above but we clearly know by now that omicron is targeting kids so what can be said about vaccination for children between 5 and 12 years of age see i will say from the perspective of the Omicron variant, we know that it's fastly spreading, majority of the infections are asymptomatic, right? And as I said earlier also, that in children, the infection, whether in first wave, second wave, now in Omicron wave also, it's not that children are not being infected, but there's mild infection, which resolves within a period of four to five days, right? So, and particularly if you look at children between two years onwards, their ACE inhibitors are also less. So that means from where, you know, the virus is going to enter the body and attaches itself. So that's where we have to see that, you know, we have, when we have to prioritize the vaccination. So we are prioritizing first children between 15 to 18, then we will come down to 12 to 15. Because as I said, there are other reasons also because of obesity and comorbidities also. But then if the situation is warranted, then it will be rolled down because we already have the vaccines which are there for children. So, but then again, as I said that, you know, this, it has got no connect with the opening of schools or school closures that has to go on. And at all point of time, it should be emphasized that for children above five years of age, the mask should be emphasized by the teachers. Schools should have enough provision for washing of hands and all that. But this is a government's perspective. And as and when you see, when we get the nasal vaccine, that will be very, very effective because that is going to prevent the entry of virus also. And that's going to have large cooperation, particularly when we talk of, you know, targeting the children.